Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Have you guys ever been caught in a situation, especially when you're traveling or maybe in a hospital in a big city where you don't quite understand what the person next to you is trying to say, especially with the variety of languages that you could encounter in a place like Houston? Well, I've been in some pretty interesting situations, both uh, home and abroad, and I'll tell you what, I certainly wish I would have had this next product. And what I'm talking about is a Jarvison Translator 2. So guys, it is an electronic translator, and it works online and offline, and it, it's a fascinating product. It uses AI, it's got an eight core processor, it's got like eight gigs worth of storage, and to quite frankly, it, it looks like it's amazing. So let's go ahead and take a look at this interesting product and why you might want one in your life. All right, guys, this here is the Jarvison Translator 2. It's an interesting device. It actually works on both Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and it has two years of free network through cellular service. And it's interesting. As soon as you turn it on, it activates the two years free. So anywhere in the world, you can go forth and ah, have language updates instantly. It's a fascinating device, okay? So it's got a power button, it's got two translate buttons on the side, it's got microphones all over this device. See that? It's got microphones on the bottom. USB-C charging, thank you guys, thank you for that. It's got a loudspeaker down here at the end, and uh, it's a fascinating little guy. Very portable, and uh, it feels like it's, it's built really well. So in the box, it comes with a USB-C cable, it comes with a SIM card removal tool because there is a SIM card. You can see the slot right there on the side. If you wanted to remove, uh, install your own cell phone service SIM card, you could do that quite easily in the field and you're off and running. But like I said, it's got two years of data. So uh, it's got that. It's got a cell phone case. That case that's on there, see that? Interesting, that actually should provide some level of protection. So that was in there and it's got a very thick user manual. Interesting. But let's go ahead and get to it because this is the piece that you guys were most interested in. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Now, from what I can tell, it does operate on some level of Android just from some of the menus that I've witnessed. They did a pretty good job of putting their own interface in there. Now, I power it completely down because with all Android devices, they are a little bit parasitic. And I didn't know the next time I was going to be using it. So that's why it takes particular time to boot up. Now if it's in standby mode, just like your cell phone, it boots up quite instantly. Now if you look at it, you can automatically tell, yeah, that's Android. It just looks like it. And here we are. This is the main screen and uh, that's how simple it is. Now you can tell down at the bottom, it's got the languages, it's got Spanish and English. It's bi-directional translating, which is very cool. It's got gestures. So if I hold it like this and I say something and then I tilt it like that, it changes the orientation of the words and, and translates everything into Spanish, and it uh, does so with an auditory cue. So uh, how about this? Would you like something to eat for dinner? Can you tilt it? ¿Quieres algo de comer para cenar? And then they can answer in Spanish, and it will recognize that in Spanish, but right now, obviously, I'm speaking English, so it's not going to do it. And then you tilt it up and it automatically translate it back to English for you, which is super cool. So, or you could lay it flat on table. Let's say you're having dinner with somebody. Red's for me, so you can, the English. Blue is in Spanish, but it has a whole bunch of other language packs. The whole bunch, I'm telling you. Um, Afrikaans, Arabic, you name it. Man, this device would have been so nice in the military. Chinese, different types of Chinese. Just like there's different types of English. Look at that. Because there's a lot of words that don't mean the same thing, even in English. Look at all that. How crazy is that? And also, let's see if I can go all the way back to the top. Down here at the bottom, you hit these triple dots. And you can turn on and off the physical buttons. They're right there. The red and the blue. Red's me. Blue's them. 
Uh, I like using the touchscreen interface. It's really uh, sensitive. It, it works beautiful. Gesture detection, you can turn it on and shut it off. I actually like that. You can say something and then tilt it and then it inverts the words and it automatically starts speaking. I really like that. Offline translation, you can, you can download offline language packs. So you can see I have Japanese, Spanish, um, Chinese, Mandarin, and let's see, I have Russian and French. All those I chose to install automatically. You can see all the download cues. Oh, and Korean. Yep, and Korean. I can install them all if I wanted, but why? <laughs> I probably won't run into those. But if I did run into a language that I didn't quite understand, it can detect the language, which is pretty cool. And I can also download offline versions if you're going to be interacting with people like that pretty frequently. So right here is one of the main menus. It says operation assistance, records export, global internet. Like I said, you have cell phone service on this guy and it's always on, which is super cool. And let's see, in the settings, we got the display, sound and vibration, updates, privacy, network connection. Pretty simple. Definitely Android though. Okay, you can see I swipe down, familiar Android interface. I can adjust the brightness. Very cool. So, that's it. Pretty cool device. So, the reason that I got this guy is because I actually had a situation where I was in a hospital and this mother, uh, I could tell based on what she was saying, it was in Spanish, that uh, her son was having heart problems and uh, she kept talking uh, about corazón and uh, well, you know, corazón it means heart and um, she kept pointing at her child and I wish I knew the exact details because if I knew more details about what she was saying, I could have probably better directed her where she needs to go. Um, there are translators in hospitals, but wouldn't you know it, there are so many places that you're gonna be, especially if you're, let's say you're a field service technician or you're somebody that flies all over the country or even internationally, this is such a perfect product for you guys. It works beautifully well. And uh, I haven't tried to out the Bluetooth, it would be kind of cool if I had uh, Bluetooth headphones. Um, that would be super cool because then I'd have nice crystal clear audio. I'll, I'll try that maybe in some other uh, video. But uh, this is a pretty neat product. And considering uh, here in Houston, all the different languages that we encounter, there's many times where I wish I could translate something. But there's one little feature that I didn't talk about. You see a little dot there? That's a camera. And it does live word translation it can detect the language and it will translate it to english spanish french whatever you want right on the main display so on this side it's going to be in your native tongue and that side is going to be the camera so if you have a menu let's say to a french restaurant or if i fly to spain and i don't detect any of the the door signs or anything i can use the camera and it live will translate over to english because I'm speaking English, or it can do any of the other languages that you've seen in the language packs that are downloaded. So guys, it uh, seems like it's a, a little bit of an investment, but a really cool tool and something that you might want in your luggage if you ever have to travel. You never know, especially you guys that are constantly on the road. There's maybe a situation where the only people around you are gonna be speaking another language and you might have an emergency yourself or more likely, since we are all very prepared people, right guys? You're gonna run into somebody that isn't prepared and they're gonna have an emergency and you're not gonna know how to take care of it. This right here is pretty cheap insurance to help you out. Now there are apps on the phone, but the phone needs cell phone service usually in order for it to happen. And I have gone through probably about half a dozen of those programs and they're all extremely cumbersome. You have to touch the button, and then you have to touch the button, and then you have to touch the button, and they also time out. After like five seconds, if there's any auditory pauses whatsoever, like that, it will stop the translation, and it will instantly kick out a translation, which is not always correct. Now this guy right here uses a version of AI, and uh, so far, from what I've told, uh, I've used it on movies and stuff like that, just to see how well it works. And so far it's been really accurate according to the English subtitles. So I'm gonna try it in the future with a native tongue speaker, maybe with a little bit of slang and see if it picks it up. But so far it's 
smooth, it's very quick, and it's very versatile. So, that's an electronic translator. That is the Jarvison Translator 2. Thanks for watching, guys.